Hey, what's up, yo? It's me, MorbidWHD, and today I'm here to show you how you can get your Nest Maker games working on actual hardware through the USB cable on the EverDrive and 8. Uh, this is the pro version, but you can use, I think, probably. Well, I'm just gonna demonstrate with the NA Pro for now. I think you can do it on the original NA2, but it needs the USB port. Mine didn't come with a USB port. But uh, since I sold it just to buy this one, I think we can get things right here. Uh, something. I. Ugh, my brain is messed up today. Anyway, so. Okay, fixed. So first up, you'll need the EverDrive NA Link software, which I happen to do so right here. And in the NES Maker, you'll have to go into Project Settings. Uh, you can do this with anything, any project you want. Then you'll need to go into Emulator, even though you're not really using one. And set the emulator to... To where your EverDrive link software is and make sure that your working folder is game and data parameters game.nes and uh, it should work straight away if I were to do export and test ASM which hopefully it does and there we go now we'll wait for the software to do its thing and if it does it will appear on the- oh, wait! See? It works! It works! And look! I can even use the real controller, too! This isn't normally how you'd hold an SNES controller, but, uh, it's one way to do it. It's unfinished, so that's why the music keeps repeating for anyone wondering. Anyway, stopping music- stopping the uh, game now. Uh, there. Now remember, if you're going to load EverDrive NA games, you have to be on this screen. The, uh, menu. Um, it doesn't matter what your folders look like, which are the yellow fonts right now. Oh. So anyway, that's all there is. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, click the notification bell if you like. And uh, that's all you gotta do, so, uh, goodbye.